2023 Acura Integra is a sharply styled hatchback. The reborn Integra packs turbo power and an optional manual transmission. 2023 Acura Integra packs turbo power, lots of tech for around $30k. But if you want the manual transmission, it'll cost you. Following its initial debut in prototype form last November, Acura revealed the production spec 2023 Integra on Thursday. It's got turbo power, hatchback functionality and whole bunch of creature comforts, and the Integra is expected to start right around $30,000 when it rolls into Acura dealers this spring. Think of the Integra as a more functional, more luxurious version of the new Honda Civic C, a car we really like. The Integra uses the same 1.5-liter turbocharged inline-4 as the Civic, with 200 horsepower and 192 pound-feet of torque, the latter of which arrives at 1,800 rpm. A continuously variable automatic transmission is standard, and it comes with steering wheel-mounted paddles, so you can fake shift through fake gears. But the Integra will also be offered with a six-speed manual transmission, with its short throw shifter and automatic rev matching, the manual is definitely the way to go, though Acura will only offer it on the top spec Integra. More on that in a moment. Acura says the Integra has unique steering and chassis tuning that should give it a slightly different on-road feel than the Civic C. The Integra is also available with adaptive dampers on the top A spec with technology package trim, something you can't get on the Civic C. Comfort, normal and sport drive modes are standard on all Integras, and the A-Spec technology adds a customizable individual mode, where you can adjust several drivetrain parameters to your liking. The base Integra rides on 17-inch wheels, but adding the A-Spec package moves those up to 18s, which you can see in our photos. Acura will offer a 19-inch wheel option through its dealer-installed accessory catalog, along with some other good-looking add-ons, and honestly, seeing the Integra on these largest wheels makes me think that's the way to go. This car needs the big wheels to really round out, pun intended, the design. Unfortunately, unlike the Civic C, there's no summer tire option right from the factory, all Integra trims are delivered with all-season rubber. Every Integra comes standard with LED headlights and taillights, and every trim gets a power sunroof too. The Acura watch suite of driver assistance features is also included on all Integras, consisting of automatic emergency braking, traffic sign recognition, adaptive cruise control and lane keeping assist. Acura's traffic jam assist is also standard, combining those last two driving aids for easy PC highway commuting. The Integra is based on the Civic hatchback, so the shape isn't super surprising. We like the functionality of the hatch, though the load in height is somewhat high. What we don't like, however, is that you can't get a rear wiper. Acura says the rake of the lift back is aerodynamic enough that you don't need one, which is probably true when the car's in motion, but doesn't really help when you walk out to your driveway in the morning and there's a fresh coat of dew on the window. Inside, the Integra has leatherette upholstery, and the A-Spec technology trim adds suede seat inserts. The A-Spec pack unlocks some cool interior color schemes too, including bright red and the orchid white we have in our long-term TLX Type S. The overall layout will be familiar to anyone who's been inside the 11th generation Civic, and little details like the air vents and climate control switchgear are shared between the two cars, as well, 